Financial troubles have reached the breaking point for Indian low-cost carrier GoFirst. As reported by The Times of India, the airline has filed initial bankruptcy proceedings with the National Company Law Tribunal, or NCLT. Speaking to local media, GoFirst CEO Kaushik Kona referred to the proceedings as a quote-unquote unfortunate decision, adding that it had been done to protect the interests of the company. On Tuesday, May 2nd, GoFirst announced it would be suspending all flights between May 3rd and 5th due to quote-unquote operational reasons, raising concerns for the future of the cash-strapped budget airline. The carrier was later confirmed to have filed for a corporate insolvency resolution process, citing the ongoing dispute with Pratt & Whitney over engines for its grounded Airbus A320neo fleet. Over half of GoFirst's fleet has been grounded since December 2022 due to issues with Pratt & Whitney engines, costing the carrier around $1.32 billion in lost revenue. Despite talks with regulators and potential legal proceedings, neither party has been able to come to an agreement over Pratt & Whitney's failure to supply spare engines. In a public statement, the carrier outlined its grievances with the engine manufacturer, noting that if Pratt & Whitney were to comply with the initial emergency arbitrator's ruling, it would be able to return to operations by either August or September this year. GoFirst deeply regrets the disruption and inconvenience that this will cause to its customers, travel partners, creditors and suppliers, and in particular to its own employees, who've remained loyal to and grown with GoFirst over the years. However, even this collective and significant support has not sufficed to prevent the enormous damage caused by Pratt & Whitney's defective and failing engines. Over the past 16 months, more than $360 million in funds have been injected to keep GoFirst operational by parent company Wadia Group, including a further $36 million payment made last month. Prior to its insolvency announcement, the carrier was reported to be in, quote, cash and carry mode, according to an oil marketing company official, leaving it on an unsustainable pay-per-flight arrangement with vendors. In April, Wadia Group revealed it was looking for a strategic partner to sell a stake in the carrier following a record financial loss of $218 million for the 2022 financial year. Wadia Group has denied rumors it wanted to exit Go First entirely and remained committed to infusing further funds into the airline. Alongside its bankruptcy proceedings, the carrier will continue with legal action against Pratt & Whitney to the tune of $977 million. GoFirst has filed an emergency petition with Delaware's federal court for the enforcement of financial relief awarded by the Singapore International Arbitration Center, or SIAC, earlier this year. What are your thoughts on GoFirst's bankruptcy? Let us know what you think by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.